Hey what's it guys it's Rich and welcome to a different kind of video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the laptop that I've had for around 3 or 4 days and now I feel like I've had enough grasp of how this works uh, with different tasks. I've taken it places, I've rendered, I've streamed, I've done everyday tasks, I've seen how long the battery life lasts while doing different things and I feel like I've gotten, uh, you know, I've used it long enough to do a proper review video. So here on the top you can see the utopiacomputers.co.uk logo and if we just open this up, this is completely off by the way, it's not on uh, hibernation or standby, anything like that. I'm just going to turn it on and show you how long it takes to boot up. I think it takes around 10 to 12 seconds or something similar to that which is a crazy crazy good time but anyway the specifications of this laptop the processor is a 4700 mq haswell processor that, that was released in june of this year i believe it's one of the new haswell processors that intel released uh, which is very similar to the 3570k desktop cpu it benchmarks around the same as that processor the uh, the graphics unit is a 770m and that is very similar in terms of uh, benchmarking figures to the 650ti it's got a 120 gigabyte solid state primary drive uh, with windows 7 on there a one terabyte secondary storage drive and eight gigabytes of ram now because the video recording quality wasn't that good what i'm going to do is show you some of the gameplay from this pc that i've recorded and i've also set it up in a way that you can see the frames per second in the top left as well now this first game is going to be skyrim and it had absolutely no problem running skyrim at around 60 frames per second on all the highest settings it was really really quick and the laptop didn't really you know use that much usage at all either and the reason it doesn't go above 60 frames per second that much is because I've got VSync turned on and that just means that it syncs up the frames per second to the hertz of my monitor which was, uh, which is the laptop screen and uh, what that does is it prevents like tearing on the screen and stuff like that so Skyrim you can run it on all ultra settings and it'll be fine and it'll run it around you know 50 to 60 frames per second which is nice so if we move over to Battlefield 3 now and you can see on the screen that I'm playing on all ultra settings with anti-eye listing and all that stuff on the high settings as well I'm not even sure if I said that word right but all of the high settings and if you don't know Battlefield 3 is considered one of the most graphic intensive games out there for PC at the moment and if you're playing this on your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 3 you're playing it at 30 frames per second and on PC on this laptop that I've uh, bought if you run it on all the ultra settings you're going to get much better quality than the consoles and you're going to get 35 to 45 frames per second whilst you're at it as well so that's really really good and please don't really watch the gameplay for how good it is because you can see here I'm forgetting key bindings I didn't know how to throw grenades and I'm struggling with the mouse because it's just been so long since I've been able to play PC games because my desktop wasn't really good enough to play them so I kind of stopped doing it which is a shame considering how much money I've put into my Steam account and my Origin account so uh, anyway you can see the frames as I said uh, go between 35 and 45 but later on in this video clip I lowered the settings down a little bit uh, to the automatic setting what that did was it lowered down some of the settings to medium instead of ultra but kept some of them as uh, as ultra as well and the frames jumped to 70 to 80 frames per second which is incredible for this game that's like nearly triple what you would get from your uh, you know console if you're playing this game on your console so if you're looking for a custom built laptop or desktop at a really good price that's going to be able to run all the latest releases at really good frames per second be sure to head over to utopiacomputers.co.uk and there you'll be able to customize fully uh, whichever laptop or desktop you want and uh, that's pretty much the video honestly uh, utopiacomputers.co.uk the company is really really good to work with the customer service is really helpful and insightful if you need to find out which specs are better than uh, which other specs for whatever reason you need to they'll you know be really helpful in terms of that as well and it's just a really good company to work with so be sure to head over to that company uh, that website even and this by the way is where I lower the settings a little bit just to see what kind of frames per second I would get on some auto automatic settings and you can see the as soon as I press that button the uh, the frames jump all the way up to 75 to 85 frames where they settle so that's pretty damn good so this video is coming to an end now guys if you enjoyed it be sure to leave me a like rating and that is pretty much it thanks a lot for watching bye